Hi there friend, it's Mando and I'm finally back after another long unscheduled break. There's some positive and negative reasons for that, but before I continue I really want to wish you a happy new year! In this little village we didn't have any fireworks, we celebrated by going on a kick sled and I did watch a neighbor burn down a house. <laughs> which is strangely appropriate for this video. So how did you guys celebrate? And do you have any New Year's resolutions? Let me know down below. And let's get back to the video. There's some positive and negative reasons on the slightly more negative side. We've been sick a lot. But I guess that is to expect when you have a small child in kindergarten. One really nice reason is because I finally registered my illustration business and pretty quickly got two quite big jobs. So I really had to focus on that. It feels really nice, but it's also very stressful in a lot of ways. But I feel like what's stressful is not the work, it's everything else in life. I find it very hard to not feel bad if I prioritize myself or things I want to do. Because there's always someone. It's been a while since I've seen or, or hung out with. My mom, my dad, my grandma, Vin's parents, my friends. This is something I know that I really have to work on and I, I've needed to work on it for a long time, like all my life. As an introvert, even just calling people has always taken a lot of energy from me. But now, with a child and a business, my time and energy is more limited than ever. And no matter what I do, it feels like I am neglecting something or someone. Being pulled in so many directions left me with a lot of anxiety, which is fine. That's just how life is sometimes, and it's all about how we handle it. But my biggest problem with all of this is not that I, I have to or should. My biggest issue is that I want to, and there's just too many awesome people in this world. The entire thought process behind this video started last summer. I was thinking about water and how strange it is that everyone I've ever talked to about it feel this sort of connection to water. Whether they like to go, you know, get tan by the beach or um, go fishing or swim or just sit by a pond in a city. Water draws the gaze like a magnet and sort of forces this relaxation on you. And then I thought about being in the forest and how it brings the stillness inside. And I got this idea that I wanted to heal my anxieties with the elements and just be in nature alone. And when you're out in nature, it's kind of hard to separate. So you go just, just water or just wood or whatever it's all sort of mixed together but i decided i wanted to have it as sort of a little guide in my mind to what i wanted to experience so i left all my obligations for a little while and headed out in nature This right here is one of my favorite things in the world and one of my biggest fears. Swedish marshlands. It's so beautiful and I have such fond memories from being on them as a child. Picking cloudberries, getting eaten by mosquitoes. I was going to go to my regular forest lake, which is a couple of Scandinavian miles into the forest. But I don't have very much gas in my car, so... <laughs> but I just stopped here to watch the terrifying beauty of the marshlands. You could easily die <laughs> going down in one of these and you will be like a preserved mummy for the future. So I'm not gonna go out on the actual marshlands. Look how absolutely pretty this is. Look at that tree. So pretty. And out there is the actual marshlands behind the tree line. It smells so good. I feel a little bit sad, but it's a wonderful feeling to be sad here <laughs> in this beautiful forest. 
I hear the wind in the trees and I smell the almost sweet earth and my feet are a little bit wet because I'm <laughs> I don't have the proper clothing to walk on the marshlands <laughs> being in a place like this that once was a lake then it was completely taken over by forest it feels magical as I was getting into my car, I heard a motor vehicle. It was a truck. And the thought of meeting another human being is sort of scary because I am so far away from other people. So when I'm out like this, it's both scary to be alone when you could become a marshland mummy. But the thought of people are like equally scary, if not more. I dropped by the gas station or whatever you should call it. It's always been a crappy one. It's uh, look how it looks. This side. Oh, actually, it has a handle now. It didn't used to have. The guys who own this gas station, they own this. And I think uh, that building that's just like completely falling apart. And so many people have given them offers to buy a gas station and fix it up or buy that building to, you know, build a gym or something that could be like good for, for the community. <laughs> but they just refuse to sell. And sometimes it doesn't even work because you don't know if they have uh, filled up the uh, the gas in it or not so you just have to like guess so I don't really know what to do now I have to go 30 minutes that way or that way so I decided to go to the next gas station which happens to be fairly close to Goblin Mountain and since I am out trying to experience elements I felt like this could be such a great place to experience air and coffee thing is, now when I'm out doing these things, I don't necessarily feel better, but I definitely believe that it's better than to just sit at home staring at everything I have to do or should do or think I should do. Being out in the air, experiencing the elements is definitely a lot better, even if it doesn't like, you know, work like that. I feel like mental health, like any other part of of your health it's not a magic wand you can just wave you have to keep doing it for it to work for example if you go out and have a and jog one time you're not going to get fit so each and every time you exercise it doesn't really matter it's the fact that you keep doing it each time that's what matters so that's what I've been up to and um, I do feel a lot better now, I do. I just feel really good surrounding myself with nature and I'm kind of proud of myself for prioritizing myself. A lot of things that really suited this theme has happened in the last couple of months. Right when I was going to go out and just light a fire in, in the yard, <laughs> my landlady invited me to her forge and I decided to make some troll cross crosses. I didn't exactly manage, hang on, <laughs> let me show you. So I wanted to make troll cross, <laughs> uh, which, you know, looks like this. Here's one of mine. And I also, my first one, <laughs> I turned into like a knot, which I think can be sort of cool too, to have as a necklace, a troll knot. But it was really fun and it really suited the theme. I got like metal and fire in one. And speaking of fire, we also had All Hallows Eve, which is the day when we remember our dead. We went to Mjasun Cemetery, which is an amazingly beautiful cemetery any day of the year. But seeing it lit with thousands upon thousands of little lights along the paths, along the graves, is really something else. And for Earth, I was really happy to get invited by a neighbor to pick potatoes, which I must say was more intense and fun than calming.